Ah, and welcome to the last in the Tamwatch 500 uh, series, uh, tutorial series. Um, just so you know, we, the game is going to be switching over to uh, 0.24. At the time of this tutorial is being uh, done, we're running it off of 0.23 uh, uh, blockchain. Um, uh, the developer has basically made some significant uh, efficiency improvements um, and taken into consideration some changes from the last uh, round of uh, testing, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So, um, right at the beginning of the series, we, we, um, when we had the only like the four buildings, um, what pointed out was that the later on in the year there will be because it was uh, winter at the time. <coughs> Later on in the in the game, there will be um, uh, the sowing season would start uh, for agriculture, and that will give us enough food to be able to cover our buildings, um, you know, our community, um, um, with, you know, in a self-sufficient way, um, uh, food-wise as well as other other resources. Um, but it takes takes several ticks to, to do that, so we had to plan ahead uh, for doing that and build up enough labour to be able to sow the field first. Buy the <laughs> enough money to be able to buy the field, um, then get enough workforces to be able to get the labour to. Yep, yeah, you get the idea. Um, so that's what we've um, uh, what we've done, and um, I must apologise. I made a mistake where I didn't actually press the record button. <laughs> I was ch chatting happily away to myself, so I've actually gone and done the buy on the on the uh, on this field already. But I will take you over to a good thing. Yes, I am going bright red in front of a microphone that you can't see. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Um, the uh, amount of labour involved here was um, uh, 166,000 labour. Right. So um, it, we had collected enough um, enough um, from our buildings because the amount that we had was 140,000. Um, so an, one more tick from our three workforces. Remember, we built, built three of them. Um, three works is a positive uh, balance comes out at 37,000. So if we had waited for one more tick, we would have had um, uh, easily had the 37,000 needed to, uh, the 160,000 needed um, uh, to demand plus spare. So what instead of it was um, actually uh, uh, bought an extra 20,000 labour um, and then uh, uh, spent that 160,000 160, labour um, on harvesting the field. So as a result, we got a um, uh, about a 52 percent yield, um, end up with uh, 55,000 vegetables, which is absolutely cool. Now, the for the size of our community that we've got, um, there's I think everything. I think there's 36 ticks per game year um, and we use about 2,000 vegetables per tick so um, uh, 36 times that 2,000 estimated you you're, for you you'll have to work this out for your own community and uh, there's no other that thing so basically that 36,000 times 2 it comes up to about 72 um, thousand seven hundred seven hundred twenty thousand vegetables so harvesting um, at the um, maximum uh, yield as long as you do get the full yield, um, you would end up with. Um, oh well, that's gone down. That was previously. Ah, you know why it's gone down? It's because the um, the um, the nutrients in the soil is less. Ah, right. Because we've done one sowing already, uh, for ha sowing and halving the vegetables already. That used to be um, uh, 80, 85 thousand but unless you leave it to recover it will produce less vegetables um uh, uh the year because the nutrients don't need to go back in the soil and this is fantastic because it's just like a real farm um you know worth everything managing a real farm so um we would end up with six seven hundred thousand so that food if none of it spoiled 
would just about cover us for the whole year. And that's what the grain is for, because the grain, um, harvesting on grain, um, lasts a lot longer. But again, um, if you've only got the one field, then it ends up the nutrients in the soil decrease for both grain and for vegetables. Um, and so realistically, you need like two or three fields. Um, two, if you were to um, uh, be self-sufficient, but three, if you were to have one which you want to sell. So um, let's just go over the calculations of that for the um, for actually if, if we were to um, do this for sort of like economic thing for selling to other people. So um, the amount of sowing labor is 83,000 and harvest is 166. So that's about 240,000 there. All right. So uh, assuming that we're actually paying for the labor at infinite rates rather than having done it ourselves. All right, go um, uh, 240,000 would cost us 96. So that gives us a, a benchmark figure for, um, you know, again, at the infinite supply uh, values. Um, that gives us a benchmark figure uh, to aim for, of which we want, of the amount of money that we'd like back for selling our vegetables. Okay, so um, let's go back to the field. And we would end up with um, 70,000, see, what, 69,000, 70,000 vegetables. Okay. So let's use the trade thing to put in vegetables 70,000. And what price would give us Uh, 96, 70 would give a, 0 0.001 would give us 70, 0 0.0015 is 105, 0 0.012 would give us 84, 3, 98, close enough, 0 0.0014 would give us um, our money back in terms of the amount of labour that we bought. Okay. So um, that gives us a thing. And oh, look, somebody's actually got a buy order for 0 0.0015. So we could actually, woo, we could actually do it at um, a, a, um, a thing and get 105 uh, gold uh, for, sale, for selling at the price that these people are asking for, which is great. So you need to keep an eye on these buy and, all these buy and sell orders and uh, all, all the time, which is a fantastic sort of aspect of this game. But of course, we've got three workforces, so we could. Rather than having to buy the labour, we could actually, at infinite prices and costing us 96, we could actually um, uh, earn it through the through our through our workforces. Um, and you use that. So so that gives you sort of a um, bit of a sort of like the the, the, the involved in the e economics of this um, uh, thing of the kind of things that you have to um, take into consideration, um, which to be honest, I absolutely love. Um, note also that um, grain. Again, you've got vegetables has got food points of 12, but grain is only two. So, um, but vegetables spoil quicker than grain. Grain lasts a lot longer, all right? So when you're um, sowing and harvesting your fields, you need to take that into account that the grain will go round. But um, you get more of it when you, um, when you sow and harvest, but bear in mind it's the same sowing labor and same harvest labor, despite the yield, and you have to wait for the yield number scope. So you have to sow at the right time and harvest at the right time to get the right yields. It's really complex, and I'm, I'm only just beginning to sort of um, uh, 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 sort of uh, get to grips with it myself. Um, yeah. So if we were to sow and harvest the thing, and we got our timing rights for our yields, we would get 172,000 things, or um, 300 and for 50,000 uh, food points. Um, so it's much more much more grain, but less nutritious. Um, uh, thing. So um, also let's have a look here at the these these colors here. So um, that's that's the tick that, that changes over from uh, winter to spring. All right, so two ticks later, you go into the sowing sowing season starts in early spring all right for vegetables okay then you have the 
sowing season for grain, which overlaps with the harvest season for vegetables, and finally, much later, is the harvest season for grain, which takes a lot longer to do. And that brings you, brings you into um, autumn and winter, so the idea is that um, you'd have enough grain to, um, to to last you through the winter, which you can back up with hunting moose, <laughs> mm. um, uh, which is a, it's random as to whether you actually get those. Um, they're, they're send you for your, your hunter and they can actually get them. Um, but that hunt, the, the hunt you get about, you know, maybe about 450 uh, meat from uh, moose, which has um, a good nutrition value. I think. So you can supplement the things with randomness, but you can't overuse the hunting. <laughs> um, just bear that in mind. So, um, yeah, just bear in mind that if you've only got a single field, it's going to get drained of nutrients. Um, if you keep um, uh, um, sowing, harvesting, um, overlap. You can do sow of vegetables. If you do it early enough, you can do sow of vegetables, harvest of vegetables, then start the sowing the grain, and then later on harvest harvest the grain. But the consequences are that it drains out of fields you can, very, very quickly and um, thing. And you need a time to recover. So you will need to uh, make yourself um, more... Um, uh, 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 more fields, um, uh, as you know, so two or maybe even three, two, one for doing vegetables, let it recover, one for doing grain, let that recover in each year, and perhaps one for um, um, one for um, a profitable thing. But again, bear in mind that you have to have enough work to be able to do that, etc., etc. Et thing. It's fantastic the whole idea of um, uh, putting these kinds of uh, economics and being able, you know, make people uh, uh, have to think about this and interact with other people for for, for running a business. Um, absolutely brilliant. I I, 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 tr I truly love this game. Fantastic. Anyway, um, thank you very much. Um, uh, really appreciate uh, uh, um, attention. Um, you know, put some uh, comments or feedback in the. In the uh, and then the YouTube um, things. So, you know, if you've got any questions to ask, um, uh, there is also a Reddit page, um, and uh, um, the IRC channel um, where you can ask questions uh, and and so on um, for getting started. Thank you very much. <laughs>